Hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Afternoon. Um, exactly the same process before. If you could wait to be called, we'll get the mic here, and we have the Frederico with the simultaneous translation. Alan. Jürgen, good afternoon. Um, you had some big players back to training yesterday, the likes of uh, Jota, Alexander Arnold, Alisson, and Bacetic. Uh, important players. How close are they to, to being involved uh, tomorrow evening? We will have to see that. Um, so, obviously, we didn't rush it with the boys. You can, but we didn't. Re- we didn't. That means they did a lot of training. Um, by themselves, like um, especially Diogo and Trent worked as a group since two, three weeks and could do could do really proper training. So looked very good yesterday, to be honest. Stefan is even different a little bit because he is out was out for much longer, but is now training with us for longer as well. So, but I think after the long spell he had without playing football, it makes sense that we may, might give him a game at the U twenty ones, and then let's see. How he deals with that? That's not a plan with the other three guys. Alison is on the way back as well, so we have, we have to see that. It's really they are now back in training, and now we have to see how how we involve them, how we use them. But um, that we need them is clear. But we need them in the best possible shape, and we want to give them kind of rhythm. So it's always a challenge to reintegrate the guys, but um, the, with the quality they have, obviously it should be a bit easier, and uh, we will use them in the. Uh, next days and weeks what it means for tomorrow I didn't make a decision yet This club is all about winning trophies as you know but it's the one trophy that you personally haven't won um, does that make it mean a, a little bit more to you and the players we just spoke to Harvey Elliott as he said it was it would be a delightful way for it to end for you with picking up a trophy that you haven't won yet Hmm it's a bit of an open bill if you want. Uh, that's that's there, but it's not personal for me personally. It's I mean it was for us um, eight years ago or whenever it was exactly uh, when we were in Basel played a good first half and not so good second half and lost against the serial winners of the competition. So it was not a great night, but somehow the start for for for, for a lot of other things. So that's cool as well. Um, but yeah, last year it was like that. For the majority of the season, we didn't really. It didn't look like that we will be involved in international football at all. From the moment on when we saw the chance to to get into the European League, we were really desperate to to do so. And you only do that then when you are Liverpool because you want to win the competition. But for that you have to um, do all the necessary steps. Obviously now only great teams left in the competition. It's really really outstanding. So, um, and we know what Alanta is all about. Um, Gasparini is doing an incredible job there for years and years. And it's difficult to play against Italian teams, always was. Um, they're tactically super disciplined um, and super dangerous in, in a lot of areas. So we have to be at our best um, to get into the next round with uh, over these two legs, um, not thinking about, yeah the final or something like that. We really have to be at our best. Uh, Supporters fan groups have come together, Jürgen, in protest at ticket price increases for for next season. Uh, There's going to be no flags on on the cop tomorrow night in protest. Is that a a concern that the great atmosphere that you've been used to at Anfield might not be the same tomorrow evening? That the flags are not there, no. As long as the people are there, um, it's all good, but... Um, I understand uh, the concerns and, 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 and the discussion, definitely. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a tricky one from my point of view, obviously, to, to say I, I didn't even know about it, that it happened. I, we got, Tony told me pretty much before the, before the press conference, so it's now, um, the opinion is clear. Uh, we want to have the, 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 the people in the stadium, we want to make it available for everybody and stuff like this. We are... A self-sustaining club. We have to. As long as I'm here, I, know, I can tell everybody each pound we earned went directly back into football. That was always the case. So it's not wasted for something. It's um, 
what the club is doing for the community, all these kind of things. There's a lot of good things what you could say what the club is doing, but I understand 100% where the, where the supporters are coming from. Um, and I'm pretty sure they will find they will find a solution in these situations. It's um, it starts with a, maybe a protest, and then they need follow discussions, um, and that's good. But what we should make sure that we don't that it, that, it's, that there's nothing but gets between us and and the supporters. It sh just should not happen. Look, discuss it. Yes, you are not happy with it. Talk. One hundred percent should happen, uh, but in between the two big whistles, we just have to be Liverpool, um, and that's what I'm asking for. Um, and yeah, how sad when the flags out. It would be worse if tomorrow, but only the flags would be in the stand and n nobody else. So that I, I prefer. That was, by the way, the case. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had that. So we don't want to have that again. Um, so this way is okay, but um, yeah, they will find a solution, I'm sure. Thank you. Hi, Jürgen. Just Hi. as you're starting to get back, these more se the senior players, so to speak, the more experienced players coming back from injury, given how well the younger players in your squad have done on the big stage this season, how much decision will go into you? replacing them, to, so to speak, with the more senior players? Is that going to be something that's more difficult than you imagined? No, it's probably different, but it's not more difficult. Different in, in a way that... Um, I know when you talk about the likes of Chota, uh, Ali, Trent, and I would usually think the first day they can step on the training ground, we have to bring them again and play them again. We probably had these situations in last year, so that's... And it never is never really healthy. Um, doesn't help a lot. They need time to to get up to speed again and stuff like this. So um, they are the most happy that we are still in the situation we are in. I mean, I don't know exactly how long they were out now, but I think Ali is so far for seven, eight weeks. It's, it's not back in full training yet, but uh, like um, seven, eight weeks. I think shots was ten weeks or something like that. It was really long, and, and Trent was the longest since I know him. I think so. They all need to go get back step by step. But we will have, so if they are now ready to go minutes uh, and more, it's a perfect timing because we play Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, so we will need the boys. And it's not about who can then play all the games because the young boys, whoever stepped in and played the role and stuff like this, they shouldn't and couldn't play all the games. So we need really all the all the players and we need always quality on the pitch because we have to win pretty much all the games. And um, that's exactly, that's good news. And I cannot see anything negative in it. It's just um, they need time and hopefully we can give them that time. You say there, you know, it's difficult for players to turn around when you play on Thursday, then Sunday, then possibly again in the week and then Saturday again. It's so close for training. But for you planning games such as looking at Atalanta, there's not much time for you to plan, is there? How do you go about that at the moment? But that's what we had pretty much no, last year not. We were out of Europe pretty quickly, but then usually we had that. We always went far. Most of the time went far, so that's a normal procedure for us. So, yeah, there's not a lot about training. It's a lot about meetings, video analysis, analysis um, and stuff like that. So... Um, Preparing the, it's always the one session we always, there's one session we have to prepare for the next opponent. It's not a long time to, and it's Sunday, Thursday, by the way, is quite comfortable. The Thursday, Sunday is then a bit more tricky. Um, but we have, we are used to that. This rhythm is, is, is the normal rhythm for us. How we said, as long as the rhythm is normal, it's all fine. In the moment when you interrupt this kind of rhythm, it's get, becomes immediately super challenging when you take a few hours out where you all think it doesn't matter. Um, it matters a lot. Each expert will tell you. Um, but as long as it's a normal rhythm, it's fine. We are used to that and we try to make the best of it. But it's not long training sessions. We don't train a lot nowadays. Um, we just prepare. We have minus one sessions, plus one, minus two, minus one, go again. That's pretty much it. From here. Jürgen, good afternoon. I'm from the Netherlands. It's a bit of a Dutch gathering tomorrow. Four players, uh, Dutch players at Atalanta, three, of course, at your side. You seem to like uh, Dutchies. Could you elaborate shortly on their development this season of Van Dijk and especially of uh, Gakpo and, uh, and Gravenberg? Um, you are not the one who interviewed John Henderson, are you? Nope. That's no, good. That was my colleague. <laughs> that was your colleague? Yeah. You're a friend of you? 
No, yeah. <laughs> That's kind, kind of, then, kind of. Yeah. I often, microphone, sometimes yeah. I see wow. him, yeah. What a horrible interview that was. You didn't like it? Did you know, do you know anybody who liked it? No, I, I spoke to him and he said, I, I'm, I regretted a bit the interview. I was a bit too hard, he said to me. And he said it also on television. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I take that apology. <laughs> on behalf of Hendo. Um, so, development of the voice, yeah. All good. So, um, three great players, obviously, slightly different roles. Word our captain, um, plays a sensational season. Um, is in a good moment. Hopefully, it stays like this until the end. Um, Cody... I said it before, is for us a super important player, played now, um, came on against Sheffield, played incredible against Man United, really good. Um, I caused a little bit of problem in a phase where we didn't have midfielders, so I put him in midfield, that didn't work out well, I, I thought it was alright, but he, he couldn't gain the confidence each player needs. Since he's back up front, playing in between the can play in between the lines, can be himself. Um, it's all getting in the right direction again. And Ryan played for us super important games. He got injured in 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 in, in bad moments where he just where he could get some rhythm. Um, and then he had a little injury here and there again. Incredible talent, crazy first touch movements, acceleration, all fantastic. But we have. A really good midfield together. So, and he will have will get minutes more and more, 100, percent and uh, will go his way 100. percent He's an incredible, talented player, um, and I really think he's in the right place in the right club. Yeah, one more question about the interview because I I, uh, I could notice the irritation. You you think that we Dutch people are a bit too direct? I I assume. Do you want me as a German to speak about <laughs> Dutch people in general? <laughs> no, no, no. No. That's good. So my my first team coach, Pep Linders, one of the best coaches I've met in my entire life, is that. Yeah. My goalkeeper goes to Achterberg. I love two bits. Is that? So I have no problem with Dutch people. Never had, okay. and will never have. I thought the interview was not good. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. One over here. Nobody has to. No, she has. To. <laughs> Salve, Marina Salve. Belotti del Corriere della Sera. Eh, lei dopo quasi nove anni insomma, ha detto che lascerà il Liverpool. Gasperini è da otto anni che è all'Atalanta. Come vede il suo percorso in questi anni? Cosa può portare un allenatore di lungo corso a lasciare? E se può essere un suo sogno quello di allenare in Serie A? Grazie. <ride> Oh, yeah, it's pretty rare that um, for Mr. Gasparini did at Atlanta and that I'm here that long is not that common as well. I know that. I think you have to leave the club in, in a better status than it was when you arrived. You have to try that. You do that. Well, we try to do that by creating a culture, by creating an understanding and by creating a mentality inside the club and that's what we try to do and that's I think what it's it is independent of the manager or the head coach it's just how you deal with stuff how you deal with specific parts of the club and that's what you what we did and the rest are just results maybe trophies maybe no trophies but results um, and um, Yeah, what you leave is actually, uh, or I hope at least, what you leave is kind of a, is a culture. And um, I'm pretty sure that's what he did as well. Oh, he's doing still, sorry. I just didn't hear anything. But it's still time for him, <laughs> half a year or so, um, to say goodbye. No, I hope he's not doing that. Um, it's all fine. Um, I think it's a great club. It was, we, we only were in, in Bergamo, unfortunately, when, when COVID was really, was pretty um, bad and um, we were allowed to play football again but we could see all um, how difficult the situation was then there as well so I'm really happy that we face now Atlanta and go to Atlanta as well, to Bergamo as well um, in a much better place with a full stadium and stuff like this because we didn't experience that yet
There you are. Obviously, my I, the only Italian thing I know is Italian food, so I cannot speak at, at all. I, I understood Salve, by the way, um, and that's it then. No, in this moment, I don't plan a further career in as a manager, So, but ask me maybe in a year again. But in this moment, I don't plan anything like that. Hold on. Last question. Good morning, um, Giorgio Duse from Bergamo News. A um, few years ago, uh, Pep Guardiola said that playing against Atalanta, <laughs> you knew where I'm going, was like um, going to the dentist. What do you think of that? And uh, you played against Atalanta three and a half years ago. Um, how do you think the team has changed during those uh, three and a half years? Gasperini is still there, but uh, many players are different uh, than the last time you played against them. Thank you very much. Yeah. Playing against us can be like going to the dentist as well, to be honest. That's actually the idea. Um, how do you well, Yes, you're right. A couple of key positions obviously changed. Um, but the manager is there, and that uh, means the, the way they play is quite consistent, and the way they defend is quite consistent, but the, the skill sets of the different players make it different. Um, but we expect a super organized opponent. So that's what we expect. Experienced opponent as well means two legs. First away is a, is a, is a clear advantage, would everybody say. So, um, yeah, it just will be interesting. But it's not, we are not the same than three and a half years ago. Um, we are definitely different, and, and the opponent probably as well. But in these three and a half years, I saw. 1,500 games probably, so I could now, I, I saw Atlanta playing, but I cannot really compare it to three and a half years ago because that's not very prominent in my mind, um, but it will be tricky for both. Very last one. Yep. Hi, Jürgen. Uh, I want to ask you about Anfield. You guys have an unbelievable record here, uh, no defeats this season. Uh, both in the Premier League and in Europe. Uh, I was wondering, what do you think makes the difference for you when you play at home? The relationship between the team and the, the crowd, the, 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 the atmosphere is, is based on performance. If you don't play well, it will not be the best atmosphere you've ever experienced. If you play well, if you give our all, people are there to give us the decisive push. That's how it is. They, people are super open, super happy to help, um, um, but we need to to offer uh, a little bit. Um, we, and that's what we usually do, what the boys usually do. Um, so, yeah, we don't take this record or atmosphere for granted, not at all. We know our responsibility in that game, in that deal. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to, to give it another try if we can go to the next level. So atmosphere-wise, that would mean we need to play a really good game. But the, the people are um, super positive and optimistic about the team. I think the team deserves that absolutely with what they all did this year. And um, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow night and um, you should too. So it's a good place to watch a football game. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Grazie. <laughs> <laughs>